Hi guys, this is Annie. I hope you all are doing great tonight. And tonight I have a really simple fall manicure for you. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. And these are the items we'll be using tonight. I have my base nail polish as well as my stamping polishes together with my fast drying top coat. I have my stamper, my stamping plate, my scraper as well as a piece of cosmetic sponge some tools that I have here is my cleanup brush, my cotton on my cotton cloth, my sticky roller tape brush to clean my stamper with, as well as some nail polish remover. So now that we have everything ready, let's get started. Alright guys, so tonight we're actually going to sponge on the base color, which is by Maybelline Color Show. The actual name of this color is Canary Cool number 950. And instead of brushing it on, I am going to sponge it on because it looks a little softer. I have actually tried polishing it on the swatch and it just was too white and I didn't like that very much. It was too heavy. So I tried sponging it on and it came out much better. So I'll continue doing that. And I just wanted to show you guys what I mean in case you have no clue what I'm talking about. So here I have a very tiny piece of cosmetic sponge that I chopped up and I am applying the nail polish on this like if you would do a gradient work. And I am going to apply it directly to the nail as I've done this one here. And I'm going to do it very light. I don't want it to be very heavy. That's why I choose to do it this way instead of going ahead and polishing it. So there we go. That's much better. Because once we start stamping on there, it's going to conceal a lot of that space. But for this particular manicure, when I did it on the swatch stick and I actually polished it on, came out a little bit too heavy. I didn't like the look of it too much. So that's why I got the idea of going in and just applying it with a sponge. So there we go. As you can see, it's very light. It's not a lot on there. And that's it for the sponging. So this one is already dry. So now we can go ahead and stamp and for the stamping polishes, I am going to use all Born Pretty products and unfortunately they don't give you a number on them or a name for these colors. So I'm just pulling out autumn colors here. So I have some brown, red, green, yellow and some orange. And for the stamping plate, I will be using my Hee Hee Stamping Plate number 052 and it's just a bunch of leaves on there. And of course I have my favorite scraper and a transparent stamper that I will be using tonight to line things up. So let's get stamping. All right, so here we go. We have the stamping plate by Hee Hee here and it's a bunch of different types of leaves which I have used four or five of them. I believe it's four of them I've actually used for this manicure and we're going to continue doing that. So the first one I'll do is this little guy here and I am going to do him in two colors which is the green and the yellow as you can see. So basically I want more of that yellow than the green in there because this is supposed to be autumn leaves and autumn leaves are supposed to be darker colors. Um, so I don't want too much bright bright green in there so I'm going to do most of it in yellow and with this stamping polish is a little bit go a long way so I'm not going to fill the whole plate up. I am going to do half of the leaf in yellow and then a drop of that green and instead of swiping it once we're going to swipe it twice so the colors can mix in here. Let me show you that's one time two times. So as you can see the green did incorporate in that yellow and there it is in the stamper. And then we can go ahead and just apply it randomly on your finger. Let me do it. Let me line it up first and then I'll show you. So I'll do that one this way and press down. And that's one of them. And for this one, I'm going to go ahead and do another. So as you can see, it's there. So I'll do another and I'll also continue doing that for the next two nails as well. off that excess 
nail polish remover and again a little yellow a little green and swipe two times to mix it in there you go there it is and there it is so I'll continue doing that for the other two nails Okay, so now that we're done doing the green and yellow leaves, if you can see that, I will go ahead and I'm going to add in my orange leaves in here. And we're basically going to fill up the empty spaces now. So the orange one I'll be using, I'm going to a different leaf now. So I'll be using this little guy here. And I'm just going to keep him as the orange color. And just one of these would be good depending on the length of your nails. Mine just took one of them. So there it is. And I'm going in to fill up the empty spots now. There it is. Let me get my camera to focus so you can see it. And there it is. So we'll go ahead and we'll do the same for the next two nails. And now that we're done with that one, we're going to move on to the next leaf. And for that one, I'll be using a combination of the red and the yellow because the red is very bright on its own. Um, it's almost a little bit too bright for the manicure, so I toned it down a little with yellow. And for that one, I will be using this little guy here. And again, we're just going to add a little of the red, because like I said, it's a very bright red. As you can see, it, it, it pops with, with this particular manicure once I get it on that white base. So I'm trying to keep this as not too bright as it is. So two scrapes to mix it in and as you can see I have a beautiful beautiful color and then we go ahead and we apply this to the nail again we're just filling up the empty spots so just randomly place them so I'll put that one there go ahead and let's do that again for the next two nails And I am continuing to swipe the nail polish two times because that's how I'm mixing the colors as we go along. There it is. And this one came out a little more red than I would like. So you'll see what I'm talking about as far as how much that's going to pop. And there that is. But I'm only going to use a little piece of them since it's so bright. And I'm going to do the reverse to tone it down a little more now. I'm going to put the yellow first. So when I swipe, it gets more yellow than the red. And oops, there it is. So, line it up and roll it on. And now that we're done with the third set of leaves, we're going to move on to the final one. And I am trying to use different shapes and different kinds of it so you can really look at it into details. So for that particular one, I have used this one here. And I'm going to keep that in like real autumn colors, which is the brown, the brown leaves that we find all over. So again, this brown is pretty heavy. If you can see that, it's a really brown brown. So I'm going to tone that one down again using yellow. So we'll use a little splash of brown and a lot of yellow here. 
We don't want to take all of it away, but we do want to tone it down a bit and make it look like they're actually changing colors. And this one came up beautiful. So again, we're just going to randomly place it to fill up the empty spots. And here we have one. And we'll do the same for the next two nails. So again, I'm starting with a little bit of brown. And the yellow really does help to tone it down. So especially with the fall colors, it's a good blend. There it is. Put this one this way now. Because remember we are overlapping the, this stamping as well. So it does look really nice once it comes together. And we'll do the last one here. There's a piece of it. I'm going to do this one back. I'm going to clean my stamper this time and my stamping plate because I think the stamping plate accumulated too much of the polish. So the image is not clear. So let me clean that really well and try that one back. I usually do it in between, but I figure since it's just a couple little items, I would take a chance but that's what happens sometimes there we go that should be better yep and there's it so let's apply that one to the empty spots trying to figure out how I should place this one and there we go So now that we have all of them already there, it's time to clean up around the edges. I just clean up what's in front of me and I would be right back with all the other stuff we need. All right, guys, so here we are and I've done cleaning up around here because there was just too much brown to continue. So now I'm going to go and clean up around the edges here using my little brush. If you don't have one of this, you can um, grab a Q-tip that will be just as good. Just take your time when going around your nails and try not to hit your side walls too much because you'll definitely take some of that polish out with you. So basically just go around and take out all the excess nail polish you don't want there and that'll clean it up if you use the latex. This now is definitely a great time to take that out before we apply the the top coat so that's what I'm trying to do here and we're almost done it's a nice easy manicure you just have to do a lot of stamping for this one but I've played with this and I really really like how this one looks so I'm gonna stick with this one and here we have the cleanup nails and now we can go ahead and apply your top coat so as usual I'm using my fast drying top coat and this is by out the door and as I always tell you guys, when you're applying your top coat on the finished nail, always apply generously. Do not skimp on it on the brush because you don't want to ruin your manicure. Try not to swipe over the same area twice and always cap the ends of your nails here. That helps you prevent chipping or wear and tear from the tips going upward. And do not press when you're applying the top coat because that will smear your polish it'll drag it so again here we go applying the polish to these nails and as you can see i'm being very generous and this is what i mean by capping your nails and once that top coat goes on there it really does bring out this manicure it just really pops and i really do like this when it's colorful and even though it's fall, it's not dull. It's not a dull manicure. So there we have it. 
And that's it for the polish and so enjoy the pictures and I'll be right back. Here we have it, the finished fall manicure. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video tonight. And if you have any questions, always feel free to write to me. I'll answer them as best as I can and as fast as I can. And thank you so much for watching my video. And have a good night, everyone. Bye-bye now.